It's Health Watch. A recent study from the U.S. Geological Survey found nearly half of the country's tap water could be contaminated with potentially toxic compounds known as PFAS. A new report looks at which water filters can block those chemicals. Investor Katie Weiss is your PFAS expert and has an update. The Environmental Working Group tested 10 water pitchers and found some of the most well-known are not effective at fully filtering out PFAS. The so-called forever chemicals used in products like nonstick cookware, stain-resistant carpets, and cosmetics have been linked to an increased risk for a number of health problems. Cancer, disruptions in the immune system, developmental delays in children, fertility problems, high cholesterol and high blood pressure, to name a few. EWG senior science analyst Sydney Evans says three of the filters tested stood above the rest. They actually reduced PFAS down to non-detectable levels, which is really great. We weren't really expecting to see that. In the study, pitchers from clearly filtered and zero water blocked 100% of PFAS tested. So did the standing travel Berkey filter system. The Epic Pure pitcher was close, blocking 98% of PFAS. The travel Berkey sells for $327, but the filter lasts eight years. The other recommended pitchers have a lower upfront price, but changing the filters can cost hundreds of dollars a year. For a full year's use, Epic has the lowest price. It was really easy to set up the filter. It flows through pretty quick. It's a decent size, so you don't have to refill it that much. The Environmental Protection Agency is now considering new rules that would restrict the amount of PFAS in tap water. Now, for those pitchers that you just saw in the story to work properly, you're going to need to change out the filter pretty frequently. I've been investigating the issue of PFAS in our water across Colorado for the last few years now. To see a full list of my investigative stories right now, just head to our website, cbscolorado.com. I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.